comes to mind when you hear the word terrorism. What we think we know about terrorism depends in part on how the issue is framed by the news media, as terrorism now dominates the headlines across the world from New York to Kabul. In an era of increased terrorist attacks, one cannot think of a more important subject than media framing of terrorism, as it plays an important role in shaping the public understanding of terrorism, as well as shaping counter-terrorism and countries' foreign policies. Numerous communication scholars have studied the topic across different media platforms and nations, yet there is no research about media framing of terrorism in Afghanistan, a country that has been a victim of terrorism for more than two decades now. All we know about terrorism in Afghanistan is the picture depicted by international news media, which I, as a former journalist, think is an outside view that not only lacks details, but also it may be small in scale in impact. Therefore, through this research, I aim to present an insight and detailed view of how terrorism is framed by the news media in Afghanistan. This research not only helps us understand the type of terrorism active in Afghanistan, but also it can be compared by how terrorism in Afghanistan is represented, for example, uh, by the US media that shaped the country's counterterrorism policies. I used to Afghanistan's leading newspapers over a three-month period from January to March 2021, I only looked at news published on the first two pages of newspapers. Overall, 102 news articles were selected based on a definition by NATO which defines terrorism as politically, religious, and ideologically motivated attacks by non-state actors that target civilians. I used reflexive thematic analysis as a qualitative method to investigate themes or recurrent patterns in the data. The results showed three key themes in framing terrorism. The first theme showed how terrorism was framed as magnitude by using keywords such as bomb blasts, shootings, and armed attacks to evoke the dramatic images of the attacks. The news stories were also reported from authoritarian sources such as the government and security officials to show the significance of the attacks. The second theme, ordinariness, framed the terrorism as a constant threat to military and um, civilians who were killed in ordinary and the most unexpected places. The final theme framed the Taliban as the known but invisible enemy responsible for terrorist attacks and casualties. To conclude, the overarching theme framed terrorism and the Taliban as the enemy who with gruesome and discriminate violence are killing tens of thousands of civilians and armed forces in Afghanistan.